Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 15th, 2023. Oh my goodness, do we have a wild morning setting up today, and who knows what that's going to end up being as we progress. We have a lot of details ahead of us today that could move the market substantially. So, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, unfortunately, guys, you know, we had that nice surge right at the end of the day yesterday. I think everyone was hoping that um, that would be the clue that um, everything was going to get much, much better. But unfortunately, this morning, we're seeing the opposite, a full on overnight reversal occurring. And we are adding pressure to that with a global bank um showing um some real turmoil here overall uh, i apologize here i got a little delay in my charts there we go the market caught up with me here um so credit suisse um finding out that their um saudi investor that was backing everything said nope no more money and um, we've got the stock down about 20% uh, this morning. We've been below $2 here on Credit Suisse. So now we have a global bank um, mixing into all of this uncertainty um, in the market. So if we take a look at where we are this morning, heading into a big morning of data, you can see those bears are really pushing here this morning in the pre-market. European markets are sharply lower. Um, right now, the Dow Jones um, E-mini futures, uh, well, the Dow futures are down 550 points um, this morning. Back down here, testing this price support in the chart. If we were to take a look and um, kind of decide if we fail this level of price support, unfortunately, guys, we have a pretty big drop that could occur in here. Um, to find the next level of support. There may be a little bit right through here, as you can see. Might be a little bit of price support in there. Um, and if that were not to hold, um, I think we go a bit lower and possibly a lot lower. Um, you know, I think there really is that possibility of a giant point move here today, depending on how the data comes out. Now, if we find something in that economic data that is extremely bullish and we can bounce right back up here, then heck, there's a 500 point move that we could do just coming back up to test yesterday's um, uh, close. And then um, the next resistance level would be up in here. Um, as you can see, if we were to bounce up into that area, that would be the next potential area to be watching for a short. So looking pretty ugly here this morning um, in the diamonds. If we take a look at the SPY, unfortunately the SPY is showing us also a full on reversal. Not strong enough to make it back up here to that resistance level it looks like. And we ran into this price resistance and seeing those bears come back in. That also happens to be the price resistance where we rallied back into that bear trend reversal. And uh, well, we're finding some, uh, some pressure here this morning pretty substantially. So if those bears continue to push here, look for a test of support down here where we saw support on Tuesday, excuse me, on Monday, to see if that holds. If that doesn't hold, then I would suggest we move a little bit lower, maybe down in here to test um, that support level. Again, full on reversal could be possible with these economic numbers here this morning. And um, that could even happen before the market opens today. So watch that closely um, if that pushes back up into um, this resistance area of the chart. QQQ has held up the best here overall in the market. 
targets. But unfortunately, what we've got going here in QQQ is the possibility of a full on reversal here this morning. Um, gap lower. So watch that closely here. Obviously, the banking situation is creating an awful lot of uncertainty and pressure. And then, of course, the inflation situation, what the Fed's going to do, um, the federal government's um, um, pending uh, defaults if they don't raise the debt ceiling. We've got a lot um, on our plate in this market and a lot of uncertainty to try and work through. So watch that closely here. If we were uh, failing right here at this price resistance and downtrend, that shouldn't be all that big of a surprise. So watch that closely. Now, if we take a look at our IWM, um, IWM, which includes a lot of the regional banks, and they are seeing quite a little bit of pressure here this morning, as you can see, complete reversal from yesterday. And unfortunately, what we're doing here is we're potentially losing that um, that bear trend reversal that we'd had in here and um, giving up these upside trends and failing um, right there at that price resistance of that trend. So not the best situation here in the Russell as well as we head into the open. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX had a pretty nice pullback yesterday. If you guys remember, I talked about the possibility that if we were to pull back into here and hold that support, um, that's where real fear can start to come in the market if, if that were to uh, reverse back up. Well, unfortunately, this morning we're getting a straight on reversal that is not giving us that nice smooth reversal, but maybe bouncing us right straight up here this morning in that pre-market. So watch that closely. Obviously, some fear, some true panic could begin um, if we start to see some of these global banks get um, sucked into this banking contagion. So watch that close. Our T2122 was our best hope of relief rally. And we did get a nice little relief um, yesterday. At one point in time, we were up here around the 50% area on T2122, but that volatility, uh, that whipsawing that we did during the day um, left us down here, um, only, uh, you know, 17, uh, 18 um, area here in uh, T2122. And now we're showing that full on reversal that is likely going to bury us down here in that uh, bullish reversal zone. Just remember though, as we continue to see these contagions and these really bad um, um, uh, details on our economy, um, we can continue to sink. So watch that closely. Now, this also gives us that hope that if those economic numbers reverse this sentiment this morning, we certainly have a big upside move that's possible. So I would be watching for big potential whipsaws um, and I mean fast whipsaws that could be um, um, really, really challenging um, here in the market. And if this were to get really bad, we could see that bearishness kind of cascade on itself, everyone running for the doors all at the same time. And that could turn into a very, very ugly situation all at once. Then let's take a look at our T2108. Well, our T2108 had a nice little bounce yesterday we did find a little bit of price support in here as you can see we've got these lows over here that kind of held us in that uh, chart now with the bearishness this morning it makes me wonder if we're going to test the lows of the year here in, or last year in t2108 um, um, as we might be seeing an awful lot of selling here first thing this morning and breaking us down pretty hard. Now, there's some good news in that, yeah, even though it may be very, very painful for those who jumped in yesterday um, and rushed in long. There may be some good news in the fact that we get oversold, just boom, really oversold. And then we can have a bit more of a sustained relief rally to the upside, assuming this contagion doesn't continue to spread, uh, creating um, uh, lots, of, lots more pain out there in the market. If we take a look at our T2107, this has held up a lot better. T2107, we're substantially off of the year lows here and we found a nice little price support in here 
bounce just where you would expect us to um, in T2107. Unfortunately, today we're seeing that opposite potential move and we could be reversing back down and really adding some pressure here to those number of stocks uh, below that um, uh, that 200 day moving average so watch that closely our t2101 despite the relief rally yesterday the momentum of the seller um, continued to follow through here yesterday which was interesting uh, following through and to the upside um, as you can see and boy that's going to be really extended here this morning if the pressure stays on this market as we roll into those economic numbers so get ready for a wild wild day here in the market let's take a look at our um, uh, economic calendar for today and what I've been talking about boy we have a busy one um, this morning we're gonna be getting uh, the PPI final demand consensus is ex expecting that to show a little bit of an improvement so um, watch for that that could be a little bit of relief in the market unfortunately the retail sales number that's gonna come out at the same time is expected to go negative um, so we've been kind of clinging on to um, hope that the consumer is doing uh, really good. We keep hearing from all the institutions, oh, the consumer's fine, they're doing great. Um, I don't think that's the case. Their credit card debt's hitting new record highs. Um, there's issues out there with the consumer, and I think we're likely going to see that in the retail numbers here. So watch carefully for that. We've got an Empire State number that expected to get worse um, this morning, uh, move into a, a stronger negative position as manufacturing slows. Business inventories uh, will be interesting to pay attention to. Of course, the housing market index, always a potential mover if we continue to see those housing prices pull back here a little bit. We've got a petroleum status report today. That could be interesting this morning. If we are starting to see a build in supplies, if we get a surprise build in supplies, that's going to show that even the consumer is pulling back on their consumption of energy. And um, that could also um, add to some pressure if the oil sector really starts to sell here on the day. So watch that closely if we get a surprise um, a build uh, or i mean a decline in supp supplies it could have the opposite effect and really help support the market if those oil prices start coming back up we've got a treasury international here at the end of the day i doubt that will make any difference and a four-month bond auction to be paying attention to but boy the big activity is here um, right before the open and I would expect some fireworks um, around those numbers and then keeping in mind for tomorrow we we're not out of the woods here we've got um, housing starts and permits jobless claims that Philly Fed number um, import export prices and natural gas so man a full week of market moving data that could be substantial then let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today our earnings calendar um, you know we've been kind of diminishing on those numbers of earnings um, not a big surprise out there that that was occurring but we do have a couple of notables here today that uh, may help us help us out or make things worse um, um, we've got uh, Adobe whoops Adobe um, will be reporting today um, it's obviously been moving in this downtrend here as you can see quite a little bit of price resistance over the top and you can see um, showing a little bit of bearishness this morning uh, based on the activity of the market this could be an important report for Adobe this afternoon to see if they can break this downtrend and pop back up into here or if they continue moving lower and breaking these support levels um, in the chart so keep an eye on Adobe um, um, ARRY will be reporting today um, looks like it's moving a little bit lower this morning as well we've got five below on the list we've got a little discount retailing in there uh, ZTO is on the list um, that's trying to move up here into its earnings report so keep an eye on that a um, couple others on the list so if you want to catch the full list of notables you might want to look at that um, click that link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch the full list 
Let's take a look at some of these things that may be moving around pretty dramatically here this morning. Um, as a result, um, if we take a look at our dollar, our dollar is strengthening here this morning. We're seeing bond yields going back up as worries of inflation continue to uh, plague the market. So we're seeing the dollar um, gapping higher here this morning. And what's interesting is we're also seeing uh, gold move up here this morning. So um, again, I think we've got that little bit of rush to safety um, as we're starting to see this uncertainty in the financial sector. So watch that carefully. Remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities. As a matter of fact, do your own due diligence. Um, I, I would expect some pretty big whipsaws today. So even stocks like this that are showing so much strength, you could easily see them completely whipsaw here on the day. So watch that close um, here on these stocks. And please guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me that favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, and that would be clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so much to everyone who does do that and then shares these videos out on those their social media feed. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few more places that you might want to look today. Take a look at silver. Silver also getting a pretty good bounce here this morning as the dollar strengthens and worries about market safety um, start to crop up. So watch that closely. You might also want to take a look at um, TLT. TLT surging here this morning. Um, again, with those bond yields rising, um, maybe a little bit of flight to safety still happening um, as the bond yields go back up in worries of inflation. But watch that closely. Got a little surge going on here in these 20 year treasury bonds. Take a look at stocks like if you're looking for long trades, take a look at stocks like AMD. Um, I mentioned this one yesterday. I don't know if anyone got into this. Uh, from that comment in yesterday's video, but moved on through nicely. We're up here testing that resistance in the chart. Kind of keep in mind that we stretched pretty hard yesterday. A little rest, a little consolidation would not be out of the question. Kind of coming in contact with that trend and then maybe see if we could pop through. Unfortunately, guys, we are seeing stocks out there um, in that um, uh, tech sector that may still be showing significant problems here big resistance level here in apple and although we were really trying to move this up yesterday um, in the market um, with all this resistance above and with the pressure that we see in the market i would not rule out some of these big techs starting to feel the pressure of that selling and start breaking some of these trends. So I would watch those closely here in the market. Stocks like um, Roku that I have been keeping a close eye on um, tried to rally back up yesterday. If we can get back above this price support level here in the chart and hold, then I think I'd be interested. Um, I would watch this really closely though today. If this contagion really catches on in the market and the panic starts to show up this could quickly move on lower here so we're right at the cusp of, of a decision here in roku watch that closely take a look at crwd crwd i had placed a price alert on that as you can see we pulled back into this trend we held in there buyers stepped up yesterday pushing that through now you know the selling here today likely going to negatively negatively affect this we'll want to watch this to make sure this can hold in this area if it holds um, in that breakout area here then i would watch for that next upside opportunity in that chart when it comes to short trades guys you might want to be taking a look at these financials any rally back in the financials um, looks like it could set up for more potential downside here. So watch that closely. We rallied yesterday, tried to come up into this resistance level. Unfortunately, there's no way we can grab a hold of this today because we're getting the full on reversal here at the open. But watch that closely. I think there are going to be some significant opportunities 
uh, coming up when this selling is over. So kind of stay tuned on that. Some other places that you guys might want to take a look at is um, some of these defensive sector stocks. They have been really selling off here strongly. And when the market starts getting uncomfortable, um, oftentimes you'll see some of these defensive sector stocks turn around and rally back sooner because they provide such a nice uh, dividend return, a little bit of a safety play in the market. So keep an eye on some of those like uh, Coke that's been kind of trading flat here, uh, PepsiCo been kind of trading flat here. We've got Altria kind of trading flat here. These are good strong dividend pairs that are trying to hold up. Um, stocks like AT&T, the telecoms, good strong dividend pairs, but they're seeing quite a little bit of pressure here. And I think probably that's just a little bit of that demand destruction going on in cell phone buying and things like that. But watch some of these price supports. It's still possible we could pick up in here and start moving some of these a little bit higher. But I got to say, one of the favored places right now is some of those safety plays like the 20 year treasury, um, gold, silver. Um, you might look at uh, things like palladium coming up um, off the bottom. Um, you might look um, at some of the uh, commodity things like um, steel and those kind of things as the dollar strengthens. I would expect these to move lower, maybe sharply lower with the demand destruction here in the market on those commodity um, type um, items for building and construction and things like that. Um, U.S. Steel, STLD showing some bearishness here this morning and really starting to break down these trends here. So a um, little bit of ugliness showing up here in the market. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Remember, don't don't fear a, a big sell-off like this and uh, don't fear it. Um, remember, this is a normal thing that occurs in the market. Don't panic. Don't do any of those kind of things because this is a good thing. When we sell the market off strong like this, we put good stocks on discount prices. They put them all in the discount bin and we get a better opportunity to buy good stocks at cheap prices. We may still have a little bit more shaking out to do before this is over. So kind of keep that in mind that we could we could continue to see more selling and more selling kind of compound in here as we see this economic deterioration occurring. But just hold um, hold with that idea that eventually that will stop and there's going to be some bargains. I mean some bargains um, here in the market, particularly if we get on get into a full market capitulation. There'll be some great sales here on stocks and some good opportunities to make tremendous money. So keep in mind the the bear side of the market can be painful. But it's also one of those great opportunities if you wait for it to occur and don't fight it. So with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. I want to wish you very good success in your trading. Be careful. Be safe. Don't try to race in on this. Don't try to second guess the market. Let this volatility play out and then we'll look for our opportunities to play. Everyone take care. Wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning.